Dallas Zoo officials gave an update to a city council committee today on how they ramped up security at the zoo. This after several incidents in which enclosures were intentionally cut open. A clouded leopard escaped, two monkeys were stolen, and an endangered vulture died. Police caught the man they believe committed these crimes. Our Nick Starling joins us now live from the Dallas Zoo. So, Nick, what did zoo officials share with council members this morning about what they're doing to try to prevent this kind of thing from happening again? Well, Karen, zoo officials say they will continue to ramp up security when it comes to cameras and fencing, but still want this to be an inviting place for families to come to. Hearing from some council members, they say they feel more confident hearing from zoo officials that they will do the right thing. And here's some of the things that they're pledging to do. Add more perimeter fence enhancements. Zoo officials say they don't want this to look like a correctional facility, but do it in a way that's family friendly. Expanding on its on-ground camera system. Increase security lighting, which are motion detected getting an outside security expert assessment which staff says is a 30 to 45 day process expanded use of technology and evaluation of their current on ground security provider continue expansion of nighttime coverage with off duty police and patrol the associate director of the zoo talked about how difficult this past month of month and a half has been on the zoo it's also for me unacceptable that uh, those multiple security layers somewhere broke down in those two and a half weeks. We've been a very safe zoo. We'll continue to be a safe zoo. It's imperative for a zoo in general to be a fun, family, engaging place where people can learn about education, animals, and conservation. But we have to do better. Now, this zoo is 105 acres, and some of these security protocols are just adding what they already have. So where is this money going to come from? Well, it could come from a 2024 bond or come out of the city's general fund. Now, there is some good news to share. Those two tamarind monkeys, they have gained weight and are now back in their habitat so all the visitors can see them as well. Live at the Dallas Zoo, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News.